Hello everybody, welcome back to Super Tech Services. This is Brian, and have you ever seen this message? No animation guide data available? Contact your service rep. Well today, I'm going to show you guys how to fix this once and for all. First thing you want to do is download the file. Now this file is not available online, but you can email me for it. I do have some of them available. All right, so when I send it to you, it'll look like this, and you'll just be downloading it from my Dropbox. After it's finished downloading, just go ahead and open it up, and just open up its folder. Now you can extract it right where it's at right there, but I'm just going to move it over to a folder on my desktop just so I can show you what it looks like so things are a little bit more neat and not as messy. Okay, so right over here on my desktop, I'm just going to create a folder called test. You do not need to do this, but this will be easier if I show you this way. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and just paste the file right there. This is a .exe file, so you need Windows to run it. And I'm just going to extract this file right into my desktop folder so you can see what it looks like. Okay, so we're going to extract this now. Perfect and just give that a couple seconds to fully extract perfect alright now that the file is fully extracted you can go into its folder now here's where most people make the mistake of extracting this file as well so you do not want to extract this file just copy it or cut it and then we're going to move that over to your USB drive and then you will paste it right into the root of the USB drive as you can see I already have the file installed so I'm just gonna go ahead and skip this but that's how your file should look it'll just be sitting right there in the root drive as a .tar file once again no need to extract those files just leave them as they are alright then go ahead and remove the disk and bring it on over to the copier. First thing we're going to do is go ahead and uh, go into tech rep mode, which is stop zero zero stop zero one. Then select system two, or first actually place your drive in so that the system can read it. All right, it takes a couple seconds, then we're just going to go over to system two. Then scroll to the second page and click on install data. Click on movie data and hit set. Now hit the start button and you should be all good. You should see the data downloading from the USB stick. And you'll see the USB stick flashing. Once this is done, you will see the blue um, the button. The start button will turn blue. You can go ahead and remove the drive. You can do a reboot if you'd like, and you're good to go. All right, the message is gone. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you on the next one. Bye bye.